three ways to playfully tease women. I'm gonna be demonstrating three techniques for you to start using right now in conversation to spark more emotion and to get women hooked into your interactions. I've also thrown in a bonus move at the end of this video that stacks on top of these techniques to create a really powerful result. Let's get into technique number one, sarcastically agreeing or playfully disagreeing. This is the first technique because in my opinion, I think this is the easiest way to break out of that emotionless conversation. See, most dudes make the mistake of when they're in an interaction with a girl, it becomes very boring, very logical, and there's really no emotion. If they're talking to a girl, they might say something like, oh, you do that for work? Nice, cool. Oh, you live there? Yeah, I, I, I live 30 minutes from there. How long have you been out here? Uh, my whole life. What do you What do you think of the area? It's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, what do you do for fun? Uh, ride my bike. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, I gotta go. Uh, oh, okay. Ends up staying on a very boring statistical level almost where they're just exchanging facts and stats about each other. And so what you want to do is create a pattern interrupt mm -hmm. to break out of that factual talk. And this can be done by either sarcastically agreeing or playfully disagreeing. As you can see, it's not so much about the facts or the words that are being discussed. Yeah, so the words aren't as important. It's not about what you say, it's about how you say it. So teasing a girl is usually based on the emotions being created. So you could say things like, what? <laughs> no way. Shut up. Ew, bye. Yeah, okay. Liar. This will naturally instigate a response from her and create that back and forth fun teasing vibe. Let's move into technique number two, exaggerated assumption. This is where you take a concept about the girl. It could be an observation or a piece of information that you find out during the conversation. You're gonna take that concept and then exaggerate it about the girl. So the idea is if this is true, then what else can we assume to be true about her? And ideally it's either a fun or funny concept that you could tease the girl on in either the positive or in the negative. So for example, I had a client who was out recently and he doesn't like to drink, so he was just drinking water and the girl he was talking to commented that she was also just drinking water. Now, most dudes would just get into a boring, logical talk in the conversation about water. Are you drinking water too? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Hello. Having a sober night or? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I don't really like to drink during the weekday. Yeah, I got you. Me too. But instead of boring water talk, we can take the concept of sobriety and make an exaggerated assumption about that. Exactly, so when the girl replied that she was just drinking water, my client actually then said, oh, so I guess I'm not gonna have to like catch you from falling over later or anything. So he took that concept and then exaggerated and made it about the girl in an emotional way. And surprisingly, the girl actually came back with a very witty response and she said, no, don't worry, you're not gonna have to like pull my hair back over the toilet or anything. And that's actually why this concept is so powerful is because when you deliver it in a teasing, fun way, it's not uncommon that the girl will actually respond back in that same playful, fun manner. I feel like most guys can tease once or twice, but eventually the vibe always fizzles out. Exactly, so guys, be sure to watch this video to the end because the next two techniques, I'm gonna show you how to take these teases and be able to continue to build off of it. That way you can keep the girl hooked through the entire interaction. Let's move on to technique number three, the conclusion. Since we've already been teasing and making assumptions about the girl, mm -hmm. the next thing that we can do is make a conclusion about her. And this is pretty much just like a one or two word nickname that's like fun or funny or teasing her based on something that's going on in the conversation. So some easy general conclusions that you guys can start to play around with are the ideas of the girl being the brat, the princess, feisty face, hippie stoner girl, church girl, or the party girl. So you can make up a nickname based off any concept during the conversation that's teasing and funny, kind of like a joke. So if the girl tells me she lives somewhere that's like out in the middle of nowhere, my conclusion's like, oh, so you were like raised on a cornfield. If she was late for work because she was out the night before, well then she ends up being the irresponsible party girl. If she's being very goody two shoes kind of a girl, well then she's church girl. See, most men get caught up in the boring statistical facts of the conversation, and so by making conclusions, it takes you away from that boring factual talk, and it brings the conversation back to being about the girl in a fun, teasing way. And so this works really well, especially when you stack it on with the final bonus technique. Finally, the bonus move, technique number four, callback humor. So even if you were to just start using these first three techniques, 
your interactions would already be a lot mm -hmm. better. However, if you just tease the girl a couple times and it ends there, well then you're leaving a lot of potential on the table. And so this is where the callback humor comes into play. Exactly, because once you tease the girl, if you were to bring up that concept again later on in the interaction, it becomes even more powerful. And I really like this idea because it's something that only you and the girl know, so it creates a connection between you guys since you have an inside joke going on. So anytime there's something relevant to the initial tease, it doesn't need to be exact, as long as it's relevant, mm -hmm. we can use callback humor. So earlier when the girl said, don't worry, you're not gonna have to like hold my hair over the toilet or anything, if later on she told me, hey, I'm actually gonna go use the bathroom really quick, we can use callback humor and I would look at her with a smirk and say, do you need me to hold your hair back or are you good? And that would bring the conversation to a new level between the two of you guys. It also makes the guy seem more clever and more witty and girls love a guy who can make them laugh. Another reason these techniques are so powerful is because once you start to categorize the girl a certain way, anytime something comes up that's relevant to that, good or bad, we can use callback humor in relation back to that initial tease. So if we were already teasing the girl about being a goody church girl and then later on she does something good, it's like obviously church girl. Or then later on if she does something bad, I'd be like, whoa, church girl. And so this is how you can create an ongoing joke that you can constantly revisit throughout mm -hmm. the entire conversation to keep women hooked. Now, if you wanna learn more about how to transition from teasing into flirting, be sure to check out the video I'm linking right here. And to apply to work with me directly in one of my coaching programs, click the link in the description. Peace out, guys.